side, five seconds. Another shot by Robitaille. Luce, three big saves in the closing seconds. He holds on for the win. And now Luce out against Morrow. And forget about the strained knee. Dan Cloutier evidently has a score to settle. He is livid. Dan Cheech, he's got to be careful here. He's got a linesman holding him. He's pushing him off. That's going to be costly. He has got to knock it off. I mean, as a teammate, you got to get out to him, pull him to the bench. The game is over. Get Cloutier to the bench. He's going to do something that they're not going to be too happy about. Well, Cloutier being ushered over to the bench. Thompson trying to get away from the linesman. Got to get the white shirts off. The Wolfpack team, the game is over. This is foolish. You got a game tomorrow night. Just get to your bench. And now Cloutier and Talis at the bench. This game is not over. It's going to continue for a while. Well, the game itself is over. It's just what's going on now. And now everybody gathers at the bench. A punch from behind, and it breaks open. Thompson, Barry Richter involved. Roll-off pile down. Safari, a vicious bull as he tries to drag the Bruin player away from that. I believe he was on Derek Armstrong. What's amazing here, if you look at the referee, he's doing nothing but taking notes. How he's going to remember all this, I don't know. There's been a couple of skirmishes, squabbles happening here and there. Guys being jumped on, so goalie's going at it. Now the referee is going to call these for tomorrow night's game for the Wolfpack. Could be a serious issue. Well, all these penalties are going to come at the 20-minute mark of the third period. You got to separate the bodies. You got black jerseys there. Just stand in there as a linesman. Get them off. Get them on your side of the ice. Get them out of the off the ice. There's too much standing around right now. These guys are just staring each other down, and they're just waiting for one to jump. They can just feel the tenses down there on the ice. And Dan Cloutier should be on the bench at this point. He's upset. Finally, I mean. somebody has ushered him over to the bench. It's Todd Hall. Get him on the bench. Get him in the locker room. This guy's too valuable out there. Now it looks like there's finally some activity to try to get this separated. Got to give credit to this Providence team. I mean, they don't want to die know that quickly and they're playing still playing with a lot of emotion here Sundin goes over to pick up these teams should be escorted off the ice Providence right now should be heading to the well I think they're clear of the Wolfpack bench first as the players are filing out Kendrick Ander and Barry Richter over at the scorers table as you see the Wolfpack players heading out through the gate behind their bench for the Providence Bruins, they do have to skate all the way across the ice. Right. Robitaille with the shot in on Cloutier. Morrow collides there, and gets an elbow up into the face of Cloutier. Another shot came across. There came the horn, and then Cloutier came out at Scott Morrow. Right. Cloutier is this type of player. We talked about this right from game one. He calls himself a hextile type. He's not afraid to go at anybody, so... Then they finally got Cloutier over to the boards, and then this comes out. Dan Cloutier is a ball of fire. Look at him go. He can see it in his eyes. He wants a piece of something. So far, he's been pulled from two or three different piles. Why not go at Talis? Talis and Cloutier gather in, and then when all the players saw the goalies going at it, that's when everybody congregated right in front of the bench. Brent Thompson. I think Thompson tried to get in and flip off Rob Tallis's mask to at least give Dan Cloutier an equal opportunity. <laughs> well, here are the, well, here are the three stars. Landon Wilson, 